now have first-person intel from inside the Westview anomaly. What are we looking at here? Is it an alternate reality, time travel? It's a sitcom. Starring two Avengers? It's a working theory. Well, I know the apron is a bit much, dear, but I am doing my best to blend in. Hello, dear. Hiya, kid. Hiya, kiddos. Life moves pretty fast out in the suburbs. I think something's wrong here. <laughs> Should we just take it from the top? Wanda. Wanda. I don't know how any of this started. What is outside of Westfield? Yeah, I'm not sure what that's about. It's probably just a case of the Mondays. <laughs> Am I right? <gasps> Is this really happening? Yes, my love. Are you crying? But I'm invested. What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman. Now it seems as though Marvel's marketing strategy, at least during WandaVision, is to give us a brand new trailer every week. And this week we got this mid-season promo reel, which really contained a lot of the same footage, scenes we've seen before, some previews for the upcoming episode. But there is one scene in particular right at the end of the trailer that finally seems to show Vision squaring off against Wanda. He's known something's been up this entire time. Wait till he finds out. It's actually his wife that's creating this entire facade. We're going to break down what I think is the most important Easter egg thus far, pointing to an extremely important narrative plot point we're going to see play out in the next couple of episodes, what might end up being the impetus for blowing the lid off this entire thing with an end to our endearing little sitcom installments and moving this from that to a full-blown Marvel movie where Wanda Maximoff is full-blown villain. We're going to break down this Easter egg and why it's so important, what it means you're going to see between these two in the up coming episodes but first if you could grab the subscribe button we're still giving away a playstation 5 at 800,000 subscribers as well as some brand new disney plus subscriptions we'll be announcing friday if you want to be entered to win all you have to do hit the subscribe button then leave a comment down below and if you want stick around at the end of the video we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there so real quickly i'm going to issue the lightest of spoiler warnings some of these theories may cover what's not only a major change in wanda but a turning point in the series itself if that's in any way going to ruin the future of wandavision for you or if i somehow end up just narrating the next couple of episodes you've been warned back out now. Now this all starts with the fact that Vision has been verbally and visually questioning their existence in Westview, why they're there and their purpose continually since episode one. And in fact, in the very last scene that we saw after he rushes inside after talking to the neighbors and he finds Geraldine gone, Wanda walks past him in the living room. The look on his face is of utter confusion and concern. And then he looks up and gives a half crooked smile as if to say, yes, everything's all right coming darling now that's not going to hold up too much longer and that's where the easter egg comes in from the next trailer where we see them fly up against each other what i think is going to happen is eventually vision will not give up the issue and we all know how wanda's been handling things when something doesn't go the way that she likes or she hits a road bump she just rewinds the tape in this case she may not be able to and when we finally reach the scene where vision talks to agnes in the street she jogs his memory with the mention of the avengers vision is going to fly up into the sky in westview take a view of the perimeter to see just how big the town is and when he realizes that there's actually a wall he's going to attempt to leave now while i don't think they're actually going to come to magical blows i think there is a good chance that they're going to come to some sort of verbal disagreement in which vision realizes wanda is definitely in control her words and her body language are going to betray that she does know what's going on she does have answers for his questions and again maybe in control of the entire facade this is where things are going to start to crack for Wanda, much like a series we've all come to know and love in Breaking Bad. Walt is doing it for his family, but at some point, he's doing it for himself. And in doing so, he can only take his family so far. What happens after Wanda's had the two kids and she has vision and she's trying to hold together this alternate reality that's supposed to be her fairy tale and she realizes that she can have the fairy tale, but at the expense of her family, she can't have both. And that's when she's going to start to crack because the whole purpose of this was to be together with vision. 
And if she can't be and can't be happily, then there's no point to any of this. Whatever deal she may have made with Mephisto, whoever she's in cahoots with, or whatever she's done to get to this point, will now all be rendered worthless, and it will be revealed mostly to herself that she may have been doing this for herself the entire time, which is a question of ego and self-purpose, and there's a lot that goes into that with character development. Now, one of the scary things about ego and purpose, as we've seen with characters like Anakin in the past, is that normally leads to a very dark road for antagonists if they invest in themselves instead of others and there's probably no question that regardless of how romantic her intentions of trying to create a fairy tale for her and vision to live out their family is there is definitely probably not the ends justifying the means here with what's going on mind controlling an entire town taking over their lives erasing this well and whatever else she's doing with keeping them in captivity behind this broadcast wall and especially if she made some sort of faustian bargain with Mephisto. Now, now of course, that's just speculation, and it could be the fact that Mephisto, Nightmare, whoever another villain that's part of this is, just sees a weak witch and a chance to seize on that. But the possibility of her not being able to hold her family together and this whole facade cracking, especially now with swords set up outside and doing their best to infiltrate and figure out what's going on, there's a high possibility that's going to happen, and when it does, if she can't have the only thing she wants, she may go into burn it all down territory, and when she does, that's when we will see her change into the full-blown villain we think she's going to become by Multiverse of Madness. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below if you agree with me. This is the road she's definitely going to take. It's clear that all she wants to do is keep this family together. Who knows what will happen when she can't? I'm interested in all your theories. Let me know your feedback down below in the comments, and quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away a PlayStation 5 at 800,000 subscribers, which we are halfway to, as well as continuing to give out Disney Plus subscriptions as long as the Disney shows are live. If you want to be entered to win or for any of the future prizes, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below, and because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners when selected will be announced at the end of videos in the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content, of course, is to hit the notification bell with notifications turned on and as always if you enjoyed today's video in theory i'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button my name is michael roman you can find me over on instagram and twitter under i am fires you can find me with original music including this song right here under all fires and you can even find me over on twitch streaming twitch.tv forward slash novellan there are links down in the description to all four thanks for checking out the channel guys and stick around we'll be posting again real real soon